Hi, it's James once again. This today is all about the Unit 4, Task 23, Safe Driving Strategies. This is essentially about how we keep this car safe in traffic. So the simple task for this is to make sure that we have safe positioning of the vehicle in traffic. And also that we apply the system of car control as applied to traffic hazards. Doesn't sound that complicated, so let's jump in the car. Oh. So the basic rule today is about safety, about positioning the car safely in traffic, keeping a distance between yourself and other vehicles. We'll talk about it more as we go on. Okay, heading straight ahead at the lights. We'll continue over the road and we are heading east, crossing Main North Road. So we're going to look at this uh, from a purely safety perspective. So where the car sits in the road and how you are managing the car in the road. Okay, we enter and we're checking left and right as we go into the intersection, coming out. Car on the left, see him. Now we we do get a remember 50, so we so let's keep our speed under 50 kilometers now from that warning sign. So yes, back there, 1.2 meters. That's the distance you need to keep between yourself and parked cars. Yes, it's unlaned, so we have to keep as near as practical to the left. Signal, blind spot, and into the right turn lane. And yes, you're right, I could have actually entered that slip lane a lot earlier and should have done. But you can see, I, I uh, can see the point where the tires of the car in front of me are hitting the road. That means I have the ability to use some evasive action if needed. I can, if the car in front uh, stalls, breaks down, I still have room to indicate and manoeuvre out of their way and go into another lane and move on. Equally, if they, um, they might be in a manual, they might even roll back. So anyway, we have a green arrow. So what we need to do, that's right. We need to check right and left as we go in, checking opposing traffic as well to make sure all is safe. That's right. After those sorts of intersections, you nearly always see a speed sign and the speed sign has changed. For us, we now can do 60 kilometers an hour. That's right, in a laned road, we keep to the middle of the lane. We don't keep as near as practical to the left in this environment. I can see traffic lights ahead. So I've got to get into that system of control. I'm 
looking in the mirror, there's a car behind me, not too close. What, I'm starting to brake. Now, what's my decision? Well, there's a red light on, the decision is made for me, so I'm gonna be coming to a stop. It's an automatic, the gears will choose themselves, but I am conscious that I am slowing down and I'm preparing to stop. I'm assuming that I'm going to stop and I will stop. So we come into the intersection as ever. That's right, I look left and right to make sure that the intersection is clear. Okay, all right, I could have done it earlier, but you get my drift. I see lights ahead. I'm gonna be turning left up here. So, I'm starting to brake. Put my sig uh, signal on, there's the indicator. Move into the lane. Everything clear. Slip road. So, let's look for pedestrians. If there are pedestrians here, that's right, I have to give way. So check point positioning the car to the left. Now I look right, no cars coming. Up we go. I can see lights ahead. So again, I'm assuming that I might have to stop. Lights stay green. I'm going through. Just keeping a foot hovering over the brake just in case. I can see lights again up ahead. System of control. I'm gonna be looking to my right to see if cars are coming out. See if there's any pedestrians on my left. It's clear to my left. Coming into the intersection, I'm going through, looking right, looking left. And as we're up a hill, we'll just give it a few more revs. I can see a roundabout ahead. So, do we need to change lanes? Do I need to look around? No. I'm going to apply on the brake as we're slowing. I'm assuming I'm going to have to stop. I can see cars ahead of me that are stopping. Again, so I continue to assume I'm going to stop. I can see no traffic on the roundabout. There is a car on the roundabout. It's going away, so I can move into the roundabout. Checking left and right at all times. Coming off the roundabout, let's let any pedestrian know that I'm coming off. Okay. So, what have we got here? Three seconds. So let's look at that Sobe pole. 1001, 1002, not enough. Let's try again, this Toby pole, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, okay. We can now keep that gap. Intersection, it's pedestrian activated, looking left, looking right, all clear, go ahead. I can see another sign up ahead. What do I do? That's right, I indicate, Check my blind spot and carry on forward. Car braking ahead, gives us some time. Another pedestrian activated crossing, so I'm looking left, I'm looking right, all clear, go ahead. I can see a roundabout ahead. So again, what am I going to do? Do I need to change lanes? No but I'm going to assume that I'm going to stop. So applying the brakes, position the car correctly, 
and then I have speed and attitude to go through, indicate off, and then carry on ahead. Again, see, there's a speed sign. Looking further ahead, I can see lanes and merging and diverging and traffic lights. What am I going to do? I'm going to turn left. So I need to get as near as practical to the left, look in my mirror, look around, put the indicator on, I'm braking. I'm coming to an intersection, so I'm gonna assume I'm going to brake, especially for those pedestrians, they aren't there. I have the slip road, so let's move into the slip road. I have to give way to the car that is overtaking me. Quick blind spot to make sure there was no one behind them. Come smoothly into the lane, then cancel. Yes, the eagle eye will have noticed that there is a regulatory sign saying keep left unless overtaking. I need to be turning right soon. So I will be doing that now. Let's do it over there, blind spot, and again. So I can see from the signs that the traffic set a uh, traffic lights ahead. So what am I doing? I'm staying in my lane, checking all around, keeping distance, braking, assuming I'm going to stop. The lights have turned green, so get prepared to move off. Make sure I can see where the tires hit the road. That is a safe distance. left, check right, all clear, go ahead. Speed sign, 80 kilometers an hour. And my distance, 1001, 1002, 1003. That three second distance is a safe distance to maintain, especially because there's a car immediately behind me who's very much less than three seconds. New set of lights, I'm going to be indicating. So, mirror, signal, slowing down, come into the slip lane, and brake. Making sure I can see where the tires hit the road of the car in front of me. 